Imagine you're in a place where everything is like heaven and you're living in endless happiness. Achieving happiness is simple when you learn to control your mind and guide it to a joyful life. You can do anything that's possible. You can do great things if you want to. If you want to achieve your goals, you can achieve them. Or you want a happy life, you can even do this. But how are all these possible? We've found 10 Stoic methods, but two of them stand out as real game changers. These could be at any number, so watching the entire video is valuable, especially for Stoic enthusiasts. Before we dive into the content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the like and share buttons. Ready? Let's get started. 1. Quit doubting yourself, start believing. Doubt is a common enemy that often holds us back from pursuing our goals and dreams. It makes us doubt our abilities, our worth, and our potential. But here's the thing. Doubt is not something that we have to eliminate totally. It is something that we have to handle with a Stoic mindset. The Stoics understood that doubt is inevitable, but they also knew how to deal with it. They used doubt as a chance to challenge themselves and to improve their own lives. For example, Marcus Aurelius write down his ideas and doubts in a journal and then ask himself, is this thought useful? Does it help me or hurt me? This way, he was able to filter out the negative and irrational thoughts and focus on the positive and rational thoughts. He also said, our life is what our thoughts make it. This means that we have the power to shape our world with our thoughts. So, the next time you feel doubtful, Try this. Acknowledge the question, but don't let it stop you. Instead, challenge it with proof of your past achievements, no matter how small they may seem. This will boost your confidence and inspire you to keep going. Remember, happiness is not about having no doubt, but about having trust in yourself despite the doubt. 2. Reflect on your life journey. Have you ever thought if you are living the life you want? Or are you just going through the motions without any direction or purpose? If you want to be happier, you must reflect on your life. This doesn't mean that you have to go to a solitary place and focus for hours. It means that you have to take some time, maybe while you're having your morning coffee, to ask yourself some important questions. You can ask questions like, what makes me happy? What are my principles in life? What are my goals? How do I want to live? Think of your life as a movie. Would you enjoy watching it? Or would you fall asleep before it even starts? Reflection is not about being hard on yourself. It is about being honest with yourself. If you are not satisfied with your current position, you can change it. You are the maker of your own movie. You can make it more interesting more important, more exciting. How? By following your dreams, not the ones that you have when you sleep, but the ones that you have when you are awake, the ones that make you feel alive, the ones that you really want to achieve. Don't let them gather dust on a shelf. Take them out and break them down into small steps that you can do every day. For example, if you want to learn a new skill, you can start by watching a lesson online or signing up for a course or finding a mentor. If you can remember to charge your phone every night, you can surely remember to do something that gets you closer to your dream. Your life story is yours to write. So make it one that you would love to read. 3. Concentrate on what you can handle. Life is full of unexpected events. Some are nice, some are not. Sometimes things go according to our plans. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes we face challenges that seem too hard to beat. Sometimes we feel stressed and worried about the future. How can we deal with these situations? How can we stay calm and happy? The answer is simple. Focus on what you can control. This is one of the core concepts of Stoicism. The Stoics thought that there are two types of things in life, 
the ones that we can control and the others that we can't. The ones that we can control are our thoughts, our acts and our reactions. The others that we can't control are everything else, such as other people, events or circumstances. The Stoics told us to focus on the initial and to accept the other. They said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This means that we can't control what happens to us, but we can control how we act to it. We can choose to see the positive side of every situation, to learn from every event, to adapt to every change. We can choose to be thankful for what we have, to be hopeful about what we can achieve, to be resilient in the face of challenges. We can choose to be happy, whatever happens. Remember, happiness is not about having everything under control, but about controlling what you have. 4. Live in the present. Have you ever noticed yourself thinking about the past or the future? Maybe you were thinking about a happy memory or worried about a possible event. While there is nothing wrong with rarely visiting the past or the future, spending too much time there can make you miss the present, and this moment is where life happens. The Stoics told us to live in the present, to be mindful of the here and now. They said, remember that you must behave in life as at a dinner party. Is anything brought around to you? Put out your hand and take your share with care. Does it pass by you? Don't stop it. Is it not yet come? Don't stretch your affection towards it but wait till it reaches you. This means that we should enjoy what life gives us without being greedy or impatient. We should respect what we have without being attached or dependent. We should be aware of what is happening without getting distracted or bored. Living in the present can make us happier because it allows us to experience life fully, to enjoy every moment, to be grateful for every opportunity. It also helps us to avoid unnecessary stress, anxiety and regret, which often come from dwelling on the past or the future. Remember, happiness is not about chasing the past or the future, but about embracing the moment. 5. Challenge yourself. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. It's steep, difficult and at times you wonder why you even started. But here's the thing, every step up that peak makes you stronger, more resilient. Stoicism, a philosophy as old as the hills yet as fresh as tomorrow's sunrise, tells us that life's true fulfillment comes from overcoming obstacles, not avoiding them. So in 2024, let's turn our daily routine into our personal Everest. Now, you might be thinking, easier said than done, right? Well. Stoicism isn't about changing overnight. It's about small, steady changes. Start by setting a goal that pushes your limits, yet is achievable. It could be learning a new skill, improving your health, or even just reading a book a month. The key isn't the goal itself, but the growth that comes from reaching for it. Each small success is a step up your mountain. Do remember, Climbing a mountain isn't a solo trip. Share your difficulties and your victories with others. Stoicism teaches us the power of cooperation and support. By sharing your journey, you not only gain friends, but also inspire others to start their own climbs. So, as we step into 2024, let's push ourselves, support each other, and enjoy the view from our personal peaks. 6. Practice Virtue What is the most important thing in life? Is it fame, wealth, power or pleasure? The Stoics would say none of the above. They would say that the most important thing in life is character. Virtue is the quality of being morally good, of acting according to your beliefs, of doing the right thing. The Stoics thought that virtue is the only thing that can make us truly happy because it is the only thing that depends on us 
and that can never be taken away from us. They believed that virtue is not something that we are born with, but something that we can cultivate through practice. They identified four major virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. Wisdom is the ability to think clearly, to learn from experience, to make good choices. Courage is the ability to face fear, to beat challenges, to stand up for what you believe in. Justice is the ability to be fair, to respect others, to give to society. Self-control is the ability to master your emotions, control your desires, and to discipline yourself. Practicing these virtues can make us happier because it can make us better people, more confident, kinder, and more satisfied. It can also make us more respected, more admired, and more loved by others. Remember, happiness is not about getting more, but about being more. 7. Do less, but do it better. Have you ever tried juggling? If you start with too many balls, they all end up on the floor. Life is a bit like that. Trying to do everything often leads to getting little. The key lies in doing less, but doing it better. It's not about the quantity of tasks, but the quality of your engagement. Choose a few things that truly matter to you and give them all that you have. This concentrated method not only enhances your skills, but also brings a deeper sense of happiness and achievement. Simplifying life isn't about having less, it's about having more of what counts. Trim down your to-do list to the essentials, like a sculptor chiseling away the excess to show a beautiful statue. Remove the unnecessary from your life to uncover your true goals. This understanding leads to action, and action leads to happiness. By focusing on fewer things, you can channel your energy more effectively making each effort count. Marcus Aurelius once said, Concentrate every minute like a Roman on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness, gently, willingly, and with justice. He was not just a ruler of an empire, but also a ruler of his time and attention. He prioritized, deliberated, and acted with purpose. In our search of happiness, let's remember his wisdom. By focused on doing less but doing it better, we open ourselves to a world of excellence and contentment. So let's narrow our focus in order to enhance our effect. 8. Be grateful. Let's take a moment and think about gratitude. You know, it's like finding a $5 bill in your old clothing. It was always there, but the moment you find it, your day gets a little brighter. That's what gratitude does to life. It's about enjoying the small things, a warm cup of coffee, a text from a friend, the sunset. When you start noticing and being thankful for these moments, life suddenly becomes fuller. It's not about waiting for big things to happen. It's about finding joy in the everyday. Now, how do you make thanks a habit? It's actually simple. You could keep a gratitude notebook. Each night, write down something you were grateful for that day. It could be as easy as enjoying a quiet moment, or as big as achieving a personal goal. This practice shifts your attention from what's missing to what's present in your life. And trust me, the more you look for things to be grateful for, the more you find them. Epictetus once remarked, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. This man found richness in his simple constrained life by focusing on what he had, not what he needed. His message to us in 2024 is, let's accept gratitude. By recognizing and cherishing the wealth in our lives, we open doors to happiness and contentment it is important to keep in mind that it's not happiness that brings thanks, but gratitude that brings happiness. 9. 
Stop looking for outside approval. The search for external acceptance. It's like following a shadow that always escapes us. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's surprisingly important in our lives, teaches us a powerful lesson here. Everyone at some point craves a thumbs up from others. But here's the twist. Stoicism nudges us to flip the script. It's about looking inward for approval, not outward. Imagine your self-worth as a fortress. Why let someone else hold the keys? Now, on to the real things. How do you actually stop this approval-seeking mission? Start by recognizing your own successes, no matter how small. Did you make your bed this morning? That's a win. Take a moment to appreciate these tiny wins. They add up, trust me. It's like building a mental muscle, one where you're the coach and the supporter. And when you feel the urge to fish for compliments or likes on social media, stop. Ask yourself, am I doing this for me or for the gram? Here's a little stoic secret. Your view is the one that truly matters. Every day, try to do something that makes you proud, not for the applause, but for your own sense of success. It's about rewiring our brains to seek internal rather than outward validation. Think of it as a mental cluttering, less focus on others' opinions, more room for your own growth. It's not about becoming indifferent to others, but about being true to yourself. This shift in thinking is not just refreshing, it's empowering. 10. Laugh more. Laughing more isn't just a cheerful idea. It's the foundation of a happy life, echoing the wisdom of the old Stoics. Laughter is a serious matter. It's a tool that lightens our burdens and brings perspective to our problems. Just imagine for a moment the inanity of life's little tragedies seen through a lens of humor. Your coffee spills, and instead of anger, there's a chuckle about the universe's quirky timing. That's stoicism in action, telling us that not everything deserves a furrowed brow. Now, how do you fit more laughter into the puzzle of modern life? It's actually simple. You could watch a funny show, read a comic book, or listen to a podcast. You could also share jokes with your friends, family, or co-workers. Or you could just laugh at yourself and your own quirks and mistakes. The point is to find fun in the everyday and to not take yourself too seriously. Laughter is not only good for your happiness, but also for your health. It lowers stress, boosts immunity, and improves blood flow. It also strengthens your relationships as it forms a bond of trust and joy. Remember, happiness is not about being serious all the time, but about having a sense of fun. We explored practical ways to achieve true happiness in 2024 by embracing Stoic principles. We delved into 10 useful Stoic methods to enhance skills, improve life, achieve goals, cultivate inner strength, build confidence, and practice virtue. By applying these timeless principles, viewers can improve their well-being and lead a fulfilling life. The video ended by encouraging viewers to subscribe, like, and share, hinting at a future episode that promises to further enhance their uniqueness in the year ahead.